If Mr. Beast started over on YouTube, these are the five things that he would do. Basically, what would I do if I was a small creator? Ooh, this is a fun one. The big thing is when I was a smaller channel, the videos I was making sucked, but I thought they were great at the time, but you know, I watch them now and they're, they're pretty bad. You know, I thought they should have gotten views and they deserve to get views, but looking back, they're pretty terrible. When I meet smaller creators, my advice is usually just like make a hundred videos and just improve one thing with each video. Usually you gotta spend a couple years, some of us, it takes a decade like me, to refine your skills and get it where you're actually a good storyteller and good at making videos and good at entertaining people before it even makes sense for you to start getting views. You know what I mean? It's just making content people wanna watch. Like you'll notice if you do that for a hundred videos, the hundredth video will literally be like four times better than your first video. It's pretty hard for it not to be. I'd add to that some things that I've seen talking to some creators is. This is Todd and Mr. Beast really looks up to this guy because he's the head of discovery at YouTube. He's basically the guy behind the YouTube algorithm. I'd encourage you to watch YouTube, be, yes. be a viewer, put yourself in the shoes of somebody who just has millions of choices. Go to YouTube and look at the videos that are showing up at the top. Most of these videos are from creators who have trained for a marathon, so to speak, you yeah. know, over many years honing the craft of video skills. A lot of them found a way to innovate, find something that other people weren't already doing. There's already 10,000 creators covering something. Exactly. You're gonna have to do something different to make it interesting to people and make them wanna click your video instead of somebody else's. There's two more things that Mr. Beast would do if he started over, but first I need to tell you about Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is giving everyone watching this video 50% off the annual personal plan. One of the things that I love about Epidemic Sound is how easy it is to find the music that you're looking for. You can just go straight into the moods section and find the right mood that matches your video. On top of that, they have tons of amazing sound effects that we like to use in our videos and that you can use in yours too. So get that 50% off the annual plan and just use the link in the description. Thank you, Epidemic Sound, for sponsoring this video. Tell us about your journey on deciding what content to make. You know, how has it changed over time? Every video of my entire life, I've always tried to just get better with each video. And so it started with just terrible videos with a terrible laptop. And then we worked up to, you know, eventually recreating Squid Game. If every video you're improving something, like little improvements just add up. It looks like some big leap happened, but it was like just very gradual over time. That's really the answer for me. It's just like small improvements over time. For me, I just always reinvest all the money I made. So when I got my first brand deal, I gave it away. and up to this day, we just spend the money on content, so that kind of helps. So if you're always improving and you're just reinvesting the money, eventually it just keeps growing. How often do you change a thumbnail? Well, I think <laughs> we get better at making thumbnails every year. When I upload a thumbnail, I usually think it's good and I don't change it most of the time. But what happens is like three years later, I look back and I'm like, oh, that's a horrible thumbnail. It's usually like every two years we just go back and update a lot of our older thumbnails just because they're terrible. Funny enough, that actually does help quite a bit when we update the thumbnails on old videos. Uh, they usually do see a little bit of an uptick because now people actually understand what it is. Now I broke down one of Mr. Beast's YouTube videos to figure out how he's able to go viral every single time. And I share with you everything that I learned. So click on the screen, check out that video. I think you're gonna love it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.